warnings and at a time a few tornado warnings although no touchdowns we did have a land spout that was spotted and on radar it looked like something may be developing but uh, nothing major that's the good news certainly lots of lightning and in some cases downpours as well but for the most part a-okay everything is settling down now uh, we could see a few lightning strikes through the overnight not going to rule out non-severe thunderstorms but the bigger story I think in the next few days will be the rain and it'll be heavy at times especially through the day on Thursday so here's the area of low pressure Wednesday not too bad but Thursday this could be 30 40 millimeters of rain for parts of southern Ontario Friday a few leftover showers but as we head into the weekend high pressure in place chilly yes not dive into the water at the cottage kind of weather not just yet temperatures though on Monday looked like this this, so we had temperatures in the 20s and similar conditions on Tuesday, but in some cases very warm. Winds are 28, London 28, Goderich 28, so some very, very warm weather. Not into the warm sector yet in Ottawa, Montreal, but you could get there. So temperatures are expected to warm up for you. And here's Tuesday's records. So Goderich, Erio, Collingwood and Wyerton all saw temperatures that broke records. None too old. Wyerton's old, 1961. Meantime, it's snow. It's staying warm. My goodness. When will it end? Okay, so northern Ontario continues to see the snow. We still have snowfall warnings in place. Pickle Lake, uh, 7 centimeters. Monday and Tuesday, May average 13.2. So yes, we're used to seeing snow in the north. Kenora, 7 centimeters. May average is 3.5. So you've doubled that. And we still have a snowfall warning for Big Trout Lake and Fort Severn, 15 to 25 centimeters by the time it wraps up. That's the forecast. And you're, even if you're not in that snowfall warning, you're still seeing between 5 and 15 centimeters. So no southern Ontario was seeing temperatures in the high 20s. Northern Ontario, snow warnings across southern Ontario in the warm sector, very unstable air. We did have tornado warnings in place in places like Mount Forest, for example, Wellington County, uh, but no tornadoes were spotted, a land spout at worst. Okay, so we still have this area of low pressure. The cold front still cutting through through the overnight. The heavier rain comes Thursday. It starts to wrap up Friday, but Monday Montreal, you're into some wet weather as we head into the weekend, unfortunately. More winter blues, reasons why spring isn't that great, and Mother Nature's true beauty. Yes, you can find it all in Around the World in 80 Seconds. Storm season is in full swing after a quiet start. A line of scattered thunderstorms brought tornadoes across the Midwest U.S. Fortunately, no deaths were reported. Of course, not all thunderstorms produce tornadoes, but they can contribute punishing hail. Several cities in the Midwest saw intense hail. It can form in thunderstorms and usually occurs with an intense updraft and where a good portion of the cloud layer is below freezing. You've seen the tornadoes, you've seen the hail, but how about those clouds? This is a supercell thunderstorm which requires a deep, persistently rotating updraft to form. Supercell thunderstorms are commonly associated with tornadoes. Spring may bring thunderstorms, but in the crazy weather year of 2014, you cannot rule out snow. May snowstorms have been causing havoc for drivers from Alberta to the Maritimes. Gander, Newfoundland saw 24 centimeters of snow in a 24-hour period. Last year in May, they saw 50 centimeters in one day. We end with the beauty of the northern lights. Capture was certainly an improvement on Monday's weather, and temperatures are going to continue to be right around that seasonal average for Halifax for the next few days. So here we go. Monday looked like this. It was a little unsettled. We even had some snow in PEI, some snow in Newfoundland. But from here on in, we've got ourselves some high pressure, and that's good news. So high pressure in place for the next few days, right through into the weekend, believe it or not, which is nice for the Maritimes, isn't it? <laughs> nice to get a break from the rain and the stormy weather. And it looked like the system was going to come in and bring some rain on Thursday, Friday. Uh, it's not. It's getting stalled out thanks to high pressure. So there you go, 14 degrees for your Wednesday afternoon. There's the big H we like to see. The big blue H means high pressure. It's blocking all these systems from moving in. All that rain stays well to the north, unfortunately. Labrador is in there. And temperatures remain cool in St. John's for the next couple of days. It was a cold day, 5.6 degrees on Tuesday, but temperatures are going to warm in the long range forecast. Okay, days. And in fact, in the next few days, we are going to see uh, a, quite an improvement. In fact, high pressure in place. It's looking good. Mix of sun and clouds for the most part. And temperatures sitting right around the seasonal average. 15 degrees is normal, 14 degrees is what we expect. So you can see the big area of low pressure trying to move in 
it just moves to the north and it's not really going to bring much more than cloud cover across the Maritimes. There's the warm front still on the cool side in Newfoundland, however, uh, but it's dry. That's the good thing. So high pressure blocking the low, not allowing it to move in. Of course, that means it's raining in Quebec for the next few days and right into the long weekend. But Halifax looks like this over the long range forecast, 14, 15 degrees and then bumping up in time for the long weekend. At least Friday and Saturday look good. 19 degrees in the sunshine. You may want to try slacklining. Here's Nathan Coleman with what that is. Little, little more practice, Nathan. I think you're almost there. Almost there. At least it's nice and close to the ground, right? You don't want to practice too high up. Uh, Yarmouth long range forecast looks like this. Temperatures warming as we get into the weekend. Looking good. It was this as well. So, I mean, not the whole day was stormy. In fact, much of the day was actually quite lovely little on the breezy side, and it depends on how close you were to the lake. In Hamilton downtown, temperatures in the low teens. Up at the airport, 28 degrees. Interesting. Okay, uh, St. Catharines 25, London 28, Windsor 28, Goderich broke a record at 28.1. 16 degrees, this is for Wednesday morning. Slight risk of a thunderstorm, and as I mentioned, as the day goes on, you're going to have uh, a drying trend. So Wednesday afternoon shouldn't be too bad. Maybe a little on the breezy side, that'll be at its worst. Wednesday morning, Hamilton 17 degrees. Almost feels like summertime when the morning high, or the morning low, is that warm. And 11 degrees for Barrie. But again, remember that as the day goes on, it's going to be a little bit better.